hi friends uh, welcome to all uh, in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity help and navigation tips yes this uh, packet tracer activity is just an introduction about the uh, packet tracer uh, so here we can see the background packet tracer is a fun take home flexible software program which help which will help you with your cisco certified network associate studies so packet tracer allows you to experiment with the network behavior build network models and to ask what if questions here in this uh, you will explore a relatively complex network that highlights a few of packet tracers features while doing so we will learn how to access help and the tutorials we will learn how to switch between various modes and workspaces uh, we may need to adjust the window size of packet tracer to see the full network if necessary you can use the zoom in and out tools to adjust the size of the packet tracer window here they given a note it is not important that you understand everything you see and do in this activity feel free to explore the network on your own if you wish to proceed more systematically follow the steps below answer the questions to the best of your ability yes we will uh, follow the steps uh, they mentioned and uh, uh, we will go further first of all uh, we will come to uh, step one access the packet tracer help pages tutorial videos and online resources Access the packet tracer help pages uh, in two ways. Click the question mark icon in the top right hand corner of the menu toolbar. Click the help menu and then choose uh, contents. Coming to the uh, packet tracer here we can see uh, the question mark. Here we can click and we will get the help. Yes. Or even we can go through the menu. We have here help and the contents. Click on this yes here we are getting uh, the packet tracer help now we will come to b access the packet tracer tutorial videos by clicking help tutorials these videos are a visual demonstration of the information found in the help pages and to various aspects of the packet tracer software program before proceeding with this activity, you should gain some familiarity with the packet tracer interface and simulation mode. So view the interface overview video in the getting started section of tutorials. Then view the simulation environment video in the real time and simulation mode section of tutorials. Right, we will see these uh, videos now Yes, here we can see the official packet tracer uh, tutorial here we can see uh, getting started the first one itself here we can see interface overview i'm going to click on this uh, interface overview yes here we can see the video so it shows uh, uh, learn how to navigate the main interface uh, you can go through this uh, entire video and you can learn uh, how to uh, navigate the main interfaces we'll go to uh yes here we have uh, real time and simulation modes uh, the simulation environment yes also you can uh, go through uh, this video uh, so it gives the idea about uh, introduces uh, an uh, overview of the simulation environment yes right uh, you can go through uh, this video also you can go through all the uh, tutorials what they given here we can see a lot of information so uh, they given uh, as a video next uh, we will come to see find the configuring devices using the desktop tab tutorial watch the first part of the tutorial and to answer the following questions so what information can you configure in the ip configuration window right we will check that coming to the tutorial here we can see configuring devices so in that desktop tab yes here is our video Using the desktop tab, 
okay we are going to ip configuration and there we can see yeah static and uh, right Yes, we can uh, go through uh, this video and uh, we will come to the question now. Once more, we will come to uh, that question. So, what information can you configure in the IP configuration window? Yes, so there we have seen uh, two options. So, we can give either DHCP or static option. So, uh, also we can see, uh, we can uh, set the IP address once we give the static option. Uh, there we can set the subnet mask, default gateway and DNS server. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Toggle between real time and simulation modes. Find the word real time in the bottom right corner of the packet tracer interface. In real-time mode, uh, your network is always running like a real network, whether or not you are working on the network. Your configurations are performed in real-time and the network responds in uh, uh, near real-time. Coming to the packet tracer, here we can see that option, real-time, and uh, here is the other option, uh, that is a simulation. So these are the two modes. Next is uh, click the tab directly behind the real time tab to switch to simulation mode. In simulation mode, you can watch your network run at a slower pace, observing the paths that data takes and inspecting the data packets in detail. Also, in the simulation panel, click auto capture or play. Okay, you should now see data packets represented as develop, uh, sorry, envelopes of various colors traveling between the devices. Then click auto capture or play again to pause the simulation. Click capture or forward to step through the simulation. Click the button a few more times to see the effect. Yes, we will do this now. Yes, now we will come to uh, simulation mode. I am going to close this uh, simulation panel. Okay, now we are go going to give auto capture or play here. Yes, here we can see the envelopes are created on devices and they are moving from device to device. Yes, you are again created another one. Okay, here we have other option capture or forward. I am going to click on this capture or forward. Yes. So we can step through the simulation. Yes, here we can see. Yes. Now we will come to uh, F. In the network topology on the left, click one of the envelopes on an intermediary device and investigate what is inside. Over the course of your CCNA studies, uh, we will learn the meaning of most everything inside these envelopes. For now, see if you can answer the following questions. Okay, we will uh, go through uh, any one envelope which is on uh, any intermediary device and uh, we will answer these questions. Yes, uh, here we can see an envelope. I am going to click on that. Here we can see uh, two uh, tabs, OSI model and inbound PDU details. Right, and on OSI model we can see uh, all the seven layers they added here and some of the uh, layer that is uh, layer 2 and layer 1 got information and here we can see out layers coming to inbound PDU details so here we can see the PDU formats logical link control here we can see spanning tree protocol right here I am going to get another uh, envelope. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we will uh, come to uh, different questions. 
under the OSI model tab, how many in layers and out layers have information, right? So here we can see that in layers and out layers. Uh, previous PDU uh, we have seen uh, there was only layer 2 and layer 1 uh, coming to this PDU here we can see layer 3 layer 2 and layer 1 is enabled that means uh, uh, according to the envelope uh, our answer may uh, vary we will go to the next question uh, under the inbound PDU details and outbound PDU details tab what are the headings of the main sections right here we can see inbound pdu and outbound pdu here we can see only inbound pdu details and uh, here we can see the different domain headings one is ethernet 2 ip ospf hello then neighbor etc etc right we will uh, try other package yes here we can see outbound outbound pdu details right and here we can see ethernet 802.3 llc stp bpdu right we'll come down right etc now we will come to the third question uh, click back and forth between the inbound pdu details and outbound pdu details tab do you see information changing if so what okay here uh, we can see the pdu and we have inbound pdu details and outbound pdu details right here we can cross check it yes here we can see the change and we will come to this section yes sir here we can see uh, some changes right yes so source address and destination address here we can see the source address is changing right uh, on inbound PDU details and on outbound PDU details yes so here uh, our answer may vary uh, and also the source and destination address uh, in the data link layer uh, will be changing or other data may be changing as well uh, depending on which packet uh, you choose to open now we will come to a G. Click the toggle button above simulation in the bottom right corner to return to real time mode. Okay, so we will come to real time mode. Well, now we will go to a step three toggle between logical and physical views. Find the word logical in the top left corner of the packet tracer interface. We are currently in the logical workspace where we will spend the majority of our time building, configuring, investigating and troubleshooting networks. Yes, in this topology here we can see the logical space. Also here we can see uh, the physical uh, space. Here we can see that physical and logical, right. Here they given a note. Although you can add a geographical map as the background image for the logical workspace, it does not usually have any relationship to the actual physical location of devices. Okay, no problem. We'll come to that. Now we will come to uh, B. Click the tab below logical to switch to the physical workspace. The purpose of the physical workspace is to give a physical dimension to your logical work topology. It gives you a sense of scale and placement, how your network may look in a real environment. Yes, we have done already that. Yes, here it is logical and physical. Yes, here we can see that. Yes. Right. Now we will come to a C. Uh, during your CCNA studies, uh, we will use this workspace on occasion. For now, just know that it is available uh, for you to use. To learn more about the physical workspace, refer to the help files and tutorial videos. Yes, so most of the time we will be using uh, the logical workspace. Right, and uh, click the toggle button below physical in the top right corner to return to the logical workspace. Right, we will come back to uh, the logical workspace. So here we have uh, a challenge. Now that you have had an opportunity to explore 
the network are represented in this PyCatracer activity. You may have picked up a few skills that you would like to try out, right? Or maybe uh, you would like the opportunity to explore this network in more details. Recognize that most of what you see and experience in PyCatracer is currently beyond your skill level. However, uh, here are some challenges uh, you might want to attempt. Do not worry if you cannot do them all. You will be a packet tracer, master, user, and network designer soon enough. Right. So here we can see the first one. Add an entity device to the topology and connect it to one of the LANs with a media connection. What else does this device need to send data to other end users? Can you provide the information? Is there a way to verify that you are you correctly connected the device? Okay, in this topology, I am going to add an entity device. So here I am going to use this uh, PC. I am going to uh, connect to this uh, WRS. You will uh, see the port availability also. We have straight through cable. Here we have Ethernet. I am going to connect to fast Ethernet. Right. So here I am going to uh, give the information. So we have to give the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server, etc. So we have to check this uh, network. So I will come to this. Uh, here we can see the IP address 192.168.0.101. So this is a class C address, and uh, here is subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and uh, here we can see the default gateway and to dns server okay i'm going to copy this dns server and now we will assign the ip address for pc0 192.168.0. here i'm going to give 120 and uh, here is our dns server we will give the default gateway also that is 192.168.0.1 yes now we will come to the next add a new intermediary device to one of the networks and connect it to one of the lans or wans with a media connection what else does this device need in order to serve as an intermediary to other devices in the network right so here i am we can use intermediary devices such as routers or maybe switches etc okay so here we will use uh, We'll come to switches. I'm going to use 2960 switch. I'm going to connect to uh, this uh, WRS using straight through cable. Okay, we can connect to uh, any interface. Here we will connect to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 to Ethernet 4. Yes. and uh, here is the last one open a new instance of packet tracer create a new network with at least two lans connected by a one connect all the devices investigate the original packet tracer activity to see what else you might need to do to make your uh, new network functional record your thoughts and uh, save your packet tracer file then you may want to revisit your network later after you have mastered a few more skills right you can uh, create this uh, packet tracer and you can create these lands and ones and you can keep it here i'm not going to create a, a, a new network uh, using uh, packet tracer yes so uh, this is uh, one of the small packet tracer activity just introduction about the uh, packet tracer software uh, help and navigation tips Friends if you have any doubt, please comment below also don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get uh, Latest uploading video info into your gmail. Thank you